So my guys and welcome to WWC Next. My name is Martin and I'm going to show you a full demo of our static grass and our ProGrass applicator range coming up after this. Right, static grass. Okay, so baseboard first. Uh, it doesn't really matter what you've got on your baseboard yet. If you can go from wood, uh, you haven't got to paint the wood, you haven't got to paint it green. You can if you want to, there's no rule to it, right? but you haven't got to if you uh, 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 if you don't want to. Uh, this is polystyrene. Um, if you've got uh, old scenics or old static grass, you can refresh it, you can go on the top. It's as simple as that, okay? So glues, basing glue, okay? Uh, static grass doesn't like PVA, okay? Uh, nothing wrong with PVA as a, as a modeling glue. I, I'm, not, I'm not dishing it, it, that uh, the PVA as a modeling glue, okay? Uh, what I am saying though is that it doesn't like static, uh, static grass. The reason being is that um, it takes so it's a rubber based glue, yeah, and it takes so long to go off, um, it shrinks, yeah, and moves. And of course, when you plant your fibers into the into the uh, into your baseboard with PVA, yeah, because it takes so long to move, yeah, to, to dry, it moves like that, and your grass ends up flat. Okay, this is a plastic glue, yeah, polymer plastic glue. Okay. Uh, it's a lot thinner than PVA, right? So and it, it doesn't move and it bonds to the board. And because it's plastic as well, it, it stays still. It doesn't when when it's dry. Yeah, it hasn't got that flex that PVA has, which when you see over, over time, PVA peels and cracks and shrinks. Um, that's the reason why. Okay, so basing glue, right? Straight over, like I said, you can go straight over the top of whatever you want to, right? So a nice big layer on here. Uh, that's one's clogged up. I'll take the top off. Okay, so just put some, lay some down. I, you know, I mean, there's, there's no right or wrong way of doing it. And then just coat your area. Okay, I want a nice big area because I'm going to do a full demo on this one. So I'm going to put a bit more down. Yeah, this does go off quite quickly and in room temperature, like it is in the studio today with under the lights, uh, it goes off. It will go off quite quickly. Um, and it'll get uh, it'll get what we call a term called balding, which um, means that you've got there's a bit of glue that's gone off. Uh, don't worry about it. You haven't got to. You know, I mean, I'm going to be perfect because you're going to go over the top with a layering system anyway, right? So, job done. Okay, so brush away. Um, this applicator that I'm going to use first is the micro. Okay, Prograss micro. Yeah, little small hopper. Yeah. A grid that will do just about do one mil. It's a bit too big for one mil. Yeah, it's a little bit too big to one mil. I'll show it to you. I've got three cameras going today, right? So, what I cut it, I'm showing. Uh, there's the grid. Just a little bit too much for one mil. You can do it, and I'll explain to you how you can do it. Two mil spring grass. So, you put two mil. This is your first basing grass it goes in, okay? So, fill the hopper in, all right? Like that. You can see now that Martin is a messy modeler, right? No such thing as a messy modeler. Into the hopper, okay. Um, switch a switch on, right, and hold the clip just below the hopper, okay. Hasn't got to be in the glue, right? As long as it's in and around the hopper, it'll do its job, okay. Uh, you, it's, um, it's the positive end, not not an earth, okay. So as long as it's around that area of the of the applicator, yeah, the glue will will stick up. Right, job done. There's your two mil basing grass done, okay? Now, you haven't got to wait for that grass to dry, okay? You can go straight into the next level. However, if I was to put a brush on top of that, I'd get drag, and you get that, you can see on the camera over there, yeah, you get that, uh, the drag thing with it. So, start the grass layering spray, yeah? Layering system that we came up with, okay, right? So, um, this is a fine spray adhesive that allows us to go on to the next level, right, without touching the baseboard and without letting the glue, glue, glue dry, okay? So you can crack on straight away, basically, right? So there's no drying time and no waiting time, right? So, uh, I think some other people say they got like 24 hours to wait and stuff like that. No, you haven't, right? Straight on, right? Spray the base everywhere around, and this is where now we're gonna start bringing in different tones. So we go into four mil now. So this is four mil autumn. Yeah, darker green, right? Because we want to bring that vibrant green down. Now, just before I go on to that one, the reason why our two mil static grasses are lighter and bolder than the, than, than the, the four mils and six mils, right? 
is because we want that color, that base color, to be strong. Otherwise, if it's the same color, it would be all the way through. You, you, you won't get that 3D effect and that grass effect. So we have we that us as a company, WWC next as a company, purposely made the, these grasses lighter or bolder, yeah. So you get that 3D effect, you get that grass effect. Okay. So this is autumn four mil. Okay. Same. We're going to use the same applicator for this one again, right? Again, I haven't got to wait for the, uh, I'm going to glue to dry, right? I put a layer of uh, layer of spray over the top, and again, don't stick a pin in your, you don't need to stick a pin in your layout, right, or a nail, right, like you, you can see here, now right, I'm holding it like that, right, and down, and this is where you want to apply in patches, okay, because you build, now, now what you're doing is building the grass, yeah, now you start to paint with the grass, okay, Okay, so there it is in patches. You can see, clearly see, I can see it, bold colours here, yeah? Josh, I think Josh will be on the camera. Yeah, I got the thumbs up as well. Right, okay, so, and that was Formula Autumn. Now, grass is not green. Now, I'm a Welshman, so I definitely know that, right? The grass is not green. This is where we need to start bringing in the different colours, the different tones. So we're going to bring some browns into it now to tone the greens right down, because that right now just looks like, you know, a blob. Yeah, so um, sticking with the micro again. Again, now what we do is, is layering. Yeah, hence out with the, the term that we came up with, the layering system. Yeah, right? Layer up. Okay. That uh, layering spray over the top. Right, and I can see, see now when that little drag that I did, right? Maybe on this side here, right? Uh, can I see it that way? Yeah, I can see over there as well. There is little tufts starting to form just because I disturbed the underneath grass, okay? And because of that, well, let me bring that across so you can see what I'm doing. That is dead, dead? Yeah, yeah, I got mm -hmm, oh So this is dead formula, okay? Right, again, now what we're gonna do is just blend it in a bit, okay? Right, so we're toning down that green. That's what we're doing here now, right? Right, there's enough. Straight away, you can start to see the results. Right, nice little brownish patchy there, patch uh, an area over there, brownish. Uh, you're torn in that grass down. You're starting to start to change the colour to it. Okay, haven't finished yet. Okay, haven't finished at all. Now we're going to bring in is patchy. Now this is a darker brown. This will give us. different result as well. So I'll load the hopper, switch it on, you've already sprayed the labouring spray on the top and start applying the grass. Right, okay. There we go, right? So there's four mil. So we've got a two mil, a four mil, a four mil, and a four mil. Yeah, we've now sort of turned it into a sort of like a, a wild meadow effect, right? But a smooth wild meadow effect. So I'm gonna finish off, right? Finishing grass, six mil, okay? But I'm gonna swap applicators now to the big, big applicator, because I wanna show you. So that grid there, yeah? That's how big the grid is, yeah? You can see the size of the hopper. Okay, I'm gonna show you all three cameras. Yeah, you can see the size of the hopper, right? And the size of the grid. This was six mil. Now we're gonna do an overall over the fact, okay? So this now, oh, I'm gonna bring it across. When I'm demoing, uh, demoing in uh, shows, it's so much easier to leave it there because everyone can see it, but on the camera, you've gotta bring it across, so. Josh keeps shouting at me. Okay, so same principle. Lay the spray over the top. And then, same thing again. Yeah, don't need to plug the applicator into the into the glue. All the nonsense, bit of a myth. Long as it's in around the area, it's fine. Yeah, and then sprinkle it. And 
there we go. Okay, job done. Right. Tilt it up, right, so that main camera there can see I've got thumbs up. Okay, and then you can see really, really bold colors and you can see a lot of mixture of grass going on in there. Okay, now you can leave it like that if you want to, right? Uh, but there's another step that you can go into as well if you uh, uh, want to start doing the advanced grass and, uh, uh, and making it look more realistic. Now you can take your time and do little bits and stuff like that, but before dramatic on the camera and dramatic on the demo, I'm going to use my sausage fingers, okay? So just mix it up, okay? Get some really good height and tufts and stuff, like bumps. Okay, so now, you now you can see the white, okay? So you can see that we've expo exposed the baseboard. So using the micro applicator again, all right, making sure that there's no grass in it, shake it off. We need to go back to base color, right? Just to cover the base, the baseboard, right? So back to spring, yeah? Spring two mil, right? Load the hopper up. Grass, spray over the top. A good look of spray. And then all you're doing here on this one is just covering that white, okay? So, Okay, there's the two mil cover. Now we're gonna bring in a, a little bit, we wanna brighten, uh, darken that color down. So spray over the top. A bit of autumn color. Again, we're gonna use the micro on this one. Now what we're doing now is going to pick out the detail, right? The highness and the low and the low, right? But we want to get them tufts up, looking. Okay, and then so there's your autumn colour, and now we'll do a uh, we'll do a lighter colour, so we bring in the depth. Okay, so all the hopper. And there we go yeah now you can see there is a wild meadow we've got a big bump right in the middle but there where just static grass all static grass that is okay yeah just literally you can see yeah josh is for thumbs up right yeah i got a good thumbs up on that you can see there right that is you've got naturally looking tufts yeah and then, and then obviously a, a uh, uh, like a wildish meadow or, or down your sidings or somebody has been walked through the fields or something like that. Yeah, like I said, if you do it with finer detail, you get a lot better detail with it as well. Right, okay, so the next one I want to show you now is the control of the precision and the detailer, okay, right? Um, reason why we brought them out, first reason that we brought them out was uh, in between buildings, yeah, or going down your sidings that you want to be a bit of accuracy. Yeah, um, and then since I've been uh, using them, I realized how much control that you get. So if you see like this white tile, yeah, you'll see like the, all the overgrassing that we've done here, right? That's the applicators, that is, that's because of the, the size of them, right? They, you know, I mean, the size of the part of the thing is either that big or that big, yeah, right? So um, these ones, right, you, you can see here the precision, yeah, you know, I mean, that's a really, really small, I'll put it up to that one, so I'll swap for that camera. Yeah, that's a really small hop and stuff, you know what I mean? So you can get really good control. Yeah, same for the, 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 the uh, detailer. Yeah, there's a tiny little hopper there as well, right? A little bit wider than the, than the precision, right? Which gives you a little wider space, but the control that you get, right? So, um, I'm gonna do extreme on this, okay? So this is the precision, okay? Again, you haven't got to worry about the clip being in the glue and all that nonsense and stuff like that. You don't need to, right? So what I'm going to use, I'm going to use, um, I just like having a, a bit of tool or something like that around there. So I'm just going to clip it onto 
one of the applicator heads, just to show you that we don't really need it there, but as long as it's close, it's fine. And we're going to use two mil snow. I'm going to show you the pattern. I'm going to just do a line across there, right? To show you the spread of it and how much control you can have on it. So you'll understand that, that when you're doing it uh, in between buildings, right, and the control you can get onto it, but also if you want to do a mass area, like I did a demo on a, a, a built a diorama, and that diorama I had uh, like three, four bits of snow rolling into one, yeah, which was melting snow, uh, our one uh, 0.5 snow and our two mil snow going into a bright green. And I got them three steps. And Josh, it worked really well, right? And Josh is not as it. And that was done by the precision, okay? So, um, like I said, put that for there close to it. A little spray around, spray over the top just to show you, okay? And then put the machine on. Now, tap away, right? It does take a little bit of time to come out, right? but when it comes out, off it goes. And bear in mind now, this is just snow going on top of green, okay? Right, and a small little hopper. The, the, the idea of this, not to show you the snow, but to show you what the tool could do. And how much control and spread you have of the applicator, okay? Right, there we go. I think that's a good line showing up. Show it up. Yeah, I can see it clearly on the camera there. I'm probably just can see it on that one. And it probably on the good one on that one. Look at the spread on that. Look at the control on that, yeah? That, that, that is, you know, I mean, if you want to start doing detail of work, especially you diorama guys like, or um, the diorama modelers on, on layouts, right? The control you get with, um, with, the, with the precision, right, is, is incredible. Yeah, you don't get hardly any mess. Um, great for engage, great for doing some track work, yeah, or some delicate work that you want to have control, you don't want to spread grass everywhere, yeah. This tool, Right, you know, I mean, the precision it says what it says in the tin, yeah. Precision, yeah, it is precision work, really, really good tool. Yeah, we've had rave reviews of this one, yeah, all the time, right? So, um, crack and piss it, be the kit. Uh, so, but we had, you know, I mean, great for diorama models because they can just put, plonk it on a spot like that and off they go work away and stuff like that, right? Okay, but I understand that they're, they're um, layout guys, yeah. Uh, their frustrations because the box then they were restricted by the long lead and stuff like that. So we brought out the detailer. All right, okay, there it is, the detailer. And it also comes with a second head, right? Wider head, right? Just to give you a wider spread. So I'll do another one with the wider head, right? Just to show you across the top over there, right? And I use 0.5, 0.5 snow scatter static grass, yeah. Now, I have had people asking me, I can't see it standing up. It's 0.5 of a mil. <laughs> yeah, it does stand up, trust me, right? Okay, but we need control with this, right? Because it's 0.5, yeah, that is a one mil, two mil head. Okay, there. You're gonna struggle to get, you know I mean, uh, anything other, it will go up to, I think it does do six mil, right? At, at the best, so, but 0.5 will, if you do it like that, it's just gonna flood up. So I'll show you the control. So. There it is, there's 0.5 scatter, okay, really, really fine stuff, all right. So, fill the hopper, yeah, okay, and then place it on the applicator. Again, I'm going to be, I'm going to worry about it being in the, in the glue, just clip it close by, again, I'm going to use, gonna use the grid of the progress applicator, progress grant. Spray that line and again. I'm going to show you the detailing of the line. Yeah. Switch the hopper on, and again, like I said, this is 0.5 now, right? So just and you can see it coming out lovely. Yeah, and like little movements, right? Just to control the flow because I don't want it out. Because if I go push like that, yeah, it goes everywhere and it looks like ice and sugar. And we don't want ice and sugar, we want to snow. Okay. Yeah, and because we've got a wider hopper, you can see the spread is a lot thicker. Yeah, okay, look at the line on there, that precision there. Yeah, right, you can see the precision there, the line, wider hopper, bit more mess. Okay, I'm gonna do over the top there, just cause I, just cause I can. And I'm gonna come far away, yeah, and it's, I can see it shooting out. And if I do one side, 
that. Oh, well, what a Christmas scene. Yeah, crack a little Christmas scene there. Okay, so that's it. That's the applicators. That's all the brown rug applicators that, we can, that we've got. Okay, that is the micro, the grand, and the precision and the detail. So the other thing that we got is a progress box. Okay, this does, this here, if I can sort of get past that to my assistant. Thank you very much, assistant. This year is the progress box, okay? Right? Uh, this will do all your mobile stuff, right? This is silicone paper, right? And we can make tufts of these. Right, okay, so this is tough glue, right? You only want a little slither. You don't want a blob, right? Because a blob will run, and again, you know what I mean? Because this is thick glue, it will uh, it will run, and, and your tough will end up flat, right? Because it takes a little bit longer to go off, right? Okay, so that's all we want. So I'm going to cut it to there, right? We're going to do a four mil order, right? So this is our four mil order. Okay, make sure there's no any lumps on the on the box right because uh, the, the balls that's the applicator doesn't like them okay so all you do is just shift it through your hands lovely like so okay so forward over there <laughs> and switch the box on I like the box to use magic. Okay. There you are. And you put a little bit of grass on just to show you. But there we go. Start the grass tufts. Yeah, four mil in height. Okay. Right, it's as simple as that. Put the, put it on, put the grass on the plate, put the glue on the paper, turn it on, job done, there's you go. So the other thing you can do, okay. Is trees. Now I always get a wow or a giggle or something like that when I ever do this in shows. Alright, so if you're watching, basic tree, pine tree, yeah, plastic pine tree, that's all that is, right? Okay, um, bought from eBay, something like that. Layering spray, right? Um, I'm off camera, but I'm spraying the spray. Uh, yeah, just do that, spray it, okay? I'm gonna do it off camera just so I don't cover the camera, right? Put your plastic tree, clip it on like so, okay? And then switch it off. And there we go. A matter of 20 seconds, I have a pine tree. Okay? Just like that. It's as simple as that. Okay, so that was our demonstration of the static grass, our glues, and the pro grass applicator. I hope you enjoyed the video. Please don't hesitate to contact us or, or, or browse the website there, yeah, Um Thanks for your support. Stay safe. All the best. Bye-bye.